lists out of 1,300 original players, men and women from all 50 states and five foreign countries, battling in the final match. You know, the odds on, on winning 10 consecutive matches to get to this point must be astronomical. Someone here in Las Vegas, I'm sure, could quote those odds for us. There's Mike Taylor just, just waiting his turn. Again, Paul Renneria with a broken bone behind his right index finger, his bowling hand. Right. One, two, ten. This is a tough spare. Spares on the left side of the lane this week have been difficult because the ball tends to hook very sharply as soon as it crosses the center of the lane. And he wants this ball to cross center line. He might play it down the left side to eliminate some of that. And he wants the ball to hit right between those two pins and have the two pin go into the 10. Oh, yeah, he did a good textbook fly, but he leaves it open. And Mike Taylor ready to go. Mike Taylor, his last two wins, he strung a big string of strikes at the end of each match to win them. I don't think he wants to get uh, too careless with Paul Ren Renteria because he can string strikes also. Nice smooth delivery right into the pocket. And there's the nine, a solid. An unbelievable bad break, but it's early in the match, so it doesn't hurt nearly as much if it were the eighth, ninth, or tenth frame. An easy spare for him, and he'll still have the lead when he covers his spare. And he does. This is his third year in the high roller. He's already taken home 21,000. And I might remind the folks here in the second frame that in the $2 million payout, over seven days of bowling. They have a VIP tournament with a daily top prize of $10,000. They have a sweeper every night. They had a $25,000 top prize the other day, so you can really earn money here at the high roller. Very high. And he's starting basically the way he started his last two matches. He's, uh, he seems to be a little bit lost on the lanes, and uh, once he gets lined up around the fifth or sixth frame, we'll see if he can do what he what he did before and that's throw a string of strikes but I still feel that the experience factor belongs to it covers the spare the hard way the hard way from the I, top I yeah. feel the experience factor that the, it would the favorite would be Paul Renteria um, here's another here's another look at that and he's really actually trying to get this ball between the three and the six pin and it hooks a little bit early for him remember the center of the lane tends to hook a little more and he was fortunate not to not to pick the three pin off the six ten confidence is such a factor in bowling and this man has a confident look on his face in fact all week he has not changed his expression steady his head is to the foul line that's very important making good shots keeping a steady head and a, that was a great release there so he marks in the second frame with a strike and still trails by eight pins Paul has a daughter he's very proud of. Jason Renneria, she's eight years old. I wonder if she bowls. What do you think? I'll bet you she, she does. What'll he do with the 200,000? He says he'll use that money to help his family and there's no more noble cause than that. There's a man who knows that what he's shooting is going in there. And that's Melinda Wilder, his girlfriend and his inspiration throughout this week. The pressure for these two players is enormous at this point. And as much as they feel it, they can do something about it. They're out there competing, whereas their, their family and friends in the back are sitting there. They can't really do anything to help but cheer them on. But uh, you really feel it more watching than you do when you're pulling for someone than you do actually. A Brooklyn strike for Mike Taylor. And he still holds a two pin lead after three. No. No, he's down by two after three frames.
Here's a look at his opponent on that last strike. Remember, it was a crossover Brooklyn. <laughs> he doesn't want to watch him throw it, but he looked up to see what happened. When the crowd cheered, he wondered what was going on. Now he hits the pocket and doesn't get the strike. Actually, two good breaks in a row. The crossover to get the strike, a chance to get the double to get back into the lead in the match. And he was lucky he didn't get the 4-9 there. Oh, yeah. Very lucky. And uh, even though it was a good shot, can't get careless on your spares. Spares are more important than strikes at this point. And he covers it beautifully in the fourth frame. So we have gone through four frames on Mike Taylor, Paul Renneria getting ready for his fourth, and we'll be right back for the championship match of the High Roller after this. Anthony, I'm Steve Grant. Welcome back to our coverage of the High Roller Tournament, the 11th annual event. Paul Renneria getting set to bowl in frame number four. He has a two-pin lead. Mike Taylor sitting down. Renneria is working on a double. The winner takes home $200,000. And everybody that's watching this tournament could be here doing this. This is open to any amateur bowler. Just come out to Las Vegas, enter the tournament, chance to win $200,000 in one week. It's on a track. Melinda knows it. And I'll tell you what, Paul is really pumped right now. You can see the look at the look in his eyes, the expression on his face, and he is as aggressive a player as you'll ever see. There's a good break right there. There again is that ball that rolled out, rolled out for him in the, in the preliminary match. Uh, the ball set up in the pocket. It did it there. It didn't cut through. Uh, Mike Taylor ball, Taylor's ball tends to cut through the pins. He's throwing a little more speed on the ball. And when it cuts through, the chances of leaving him 4-9, for example, in the pocket are there. His ball trips the four because it straightens out on the back, flattens out on the back end, trips the four pin for him. He's now down by 22, working on a spare in the fifth. Brooklyn side, won't get the 10. So he now drops to 23 with his second shot in the fifth frame. Here it comes. And cross lane, he switches balls. Now he's using a very shiny surface bowling ball for his spares. And you'll see most high amateur bowlers, or even if you want to improve your game, that's the way to go. Switch, use two bowling balls, one for spares, one for strikes. Makes those spares a lot easier when the lanes are hooking. And Mike Taylor begins frame number six. On a pair of, he's had uh, four spares and a strike. The strike came in frame number three. He had an 11-pin lead to start after Renneria left the first frame open. Now he's down.